Hey, happy Monday. Hope you guys had a good weekend. Uh, we had a great weekend here. Not like we're going anywhere. So uh, hung out. I made some bread and it turned out really good. So feeling pretty good about that. Um, and we also had our first duck hatch. So I think Kaylin went to go get Webby so that she can introduce him or her to you. We won't know if it's a boy or a girl for a couple weeks. So um, that's pretty cool. Ah, yes. So everybody say hello to Webby. <laughs> oh, uh -oh. <laughs> turn this way. Oh, say hi to the people. Yeah, Webby is not even 24 hours old yet. So um, we are excited to have him or her with us. And Mila wants um, him. Yeah, Mila thinks that, I don't know what Mila thinks actually. I don't know if Mila thinks this is a new like snack or toy or friend. I don't know. But mm -hmm. anyways, welcome to the world, little Webby. And we caught the whole hatching on video. So I'll have to like attach that to the end of this video. So um, hang tight for the rest of the information. And anyways, here you go. Take little Webster back. I want to name him Webster like after the dictionary. I thought that'd be kind of cool and nerdy. Um, all right. <laughs> so uh, other than that, I posted some new slides on Classroom. I want to just keep it consistent, kind of like my daily slides before school was out um just every week have like one common place for you guys to look at that was some good feedback that i got from a couple of you guys so thank you i am i really am appreciating the feedback um the photo question that i sent out most of the feedback i got was that uploading photos on google forms is working fine as long as you like upload the photo to your drive first so you could take it with your Chromebook and upload it to your Google Drive or your phone and do the same um, or email it to yourself also is what I'm hearing work. So if any of you guys are having problems with that, let me know. Um, other than that, this next section this week and beyond is going to be all about polymers. So the biggest thing to know is that polymers are plastic. It's just the fancy nerdy chemistry word for plastics. So um, I will share my desktop with you guys here in a minute and just kind of lay out what that sl those slides look like um, and the assignment should be up and going and obviously I'm around so send me a Google Hangout. Again, they come straight to my phone like a text message so I usually get those a little bit quicker. Uh, Wednesday, I'm going to have a another chemistry video meetup. Uh, at noon, Wednesday at noon on the Zoom. So if you have questions, uh, if you want me to show you some examples, I'm planning on making some more videos with my uh, models for you guys to see. Uh, anyways, other than that, next week is spring break. Woohoo, no school. So um, keep me updated in your lives. I love hearing from you guys and I will talk to you soon. So stay tuned for my desk share talk. Here we go. All right, hi guys. So here is the uh, slides that I'm gonna lay out for you guys. I have just week two right now. I'll probably backlog it and put week one on there uh, later on today. So the first thing that I have for you guys to do, uh, we came up with a scavenger hunt. So this whole next section is really all about polymers and polymers are plastic. So anywhere you see the word polymer, just think plastics. Um, and there's lots of different kinds. And we have plastics uh, that we use for garbage bags. We have plastics that we use for water bottles. Um, we have like really tough plastics like PVC pipe. And so um, the first task is to go around your house and see what kind of plastics you can find. The goal is to find at least three of the different plastic codes and do a little bit of research on it. Uh, there are seven total different plastic codes. So if you're able to find all seven or maybe more than three, uh, any that you find above three will be extra credit points. So that's kind of cool. Um, and I have a form here for you to fill out. These are the different codes. They probably look familiar to you. Um, it includes having you uh, put a picture in here and then answer some questions. Do we recycle it? Do we not? You know, how do we process that? So that's uh, task one. 
Uh, task two is pretty simple. It's a quick Ed Puzzle video called The Life Cycle of a Plastic Bottle. Uh, it's only a four minute long video. So then however long it'll take you to maybe respond to those questions. I put 10 minutes on there. Um, I hope that it doesn't take any more than that. The next thing on the list is to look at some notes. Oops. So the notes are called petrochemicals, uh, petroleum chemicals. So it's what do we do with that petroleum as far as, you know, turning them into usable chemicals as consumers. And um, the pages in the book are 305 to 307. You can see that. Uh, but there's a Google form that we made as chemistry teachers. And it includes some marking of the text. So we marked up our books just to kind of give you some ideas of, oh, these are some important things and kind of highlight a couple of the different uh, important words and whatnot. So the task is to read through this information. You should have your textbook with you. If not, you have pictures of the pages right here. Um, answer some questions and then move on to the next page. Uh, this whole time, I'd like you to be taking your own notes. So each page shouldn't take more than half a page, okay? The goal is to condense the information down so you don't have an entire page that you took off of an entire page from the textbook. So, so try to keep it concise. Um, that should be pretty straightforward. The last little bit on here is another bonus opportunity to make some more models. And uh, I have my model kits and I will show you a video shortly just kind of what, what this whole topic is about. So I'll do that separately. Um, Last thing on the to-do list is a GIM kit. So I think we need to practice our vocabulary. The GIM kit has some old review words. It has some current words that you're working with right now. And then it also has some future words that we're going to be looking at here shortly, probably after spring break. And so um, I just want you to start getting familiar with what those definitions might be. Uh, we haven't made our classes yet in GIM kit. So to do that, uh, I made some codes here. So just whatever period you're in, click on this link. You need to log into GimKit with your school login and um, that should get you set up. So anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you have a great week. Uh, don't forget Wednesday is a video check-in on Zoom. Uh, last week I had uh, probably like 10% of you guys pop in. We did a Kahoot for fun. It was just super chill and good to see your faces. So um, let me know if you have any questions. Oh, the last thing on the slide that I have right now is just the original timeline document that I've been modifying as we go. Uh, it looks like this and I posted it <clears throat> earlier, um, but it just kind of maps out what we're doing when um, we've already kind of pushed some things back to pass, you know, beyond spring break, um, just to try and map out the time. So have a great day and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.